television, I suppose you all want to be paid now. Well, I think we're going out all over England on Radio 1 and I think we're going out all over Europe, so, on TV, so, it's a uh, very special evening this evening. We've been on the road, uh, we've done 60 shows in about the last 90 days and this is the last one tonight. And it's, it's great to be playing at home for you guys. So. And tonight, I feel sure we will be performing lots of new songs. And with a slight inevitability of some old songs as well. Some you'll like, some you won't. But shit happens, you know? Anyway, we're going to be carrying on with another new one, and um, this is about the building of the great railways. And specifically the railways of England, when uh, around the 1800s, all these men left, hundreds of men left their families and loved ones and went off in search of what they thought was going to be a great adventure and a great job, but a lot of them never came home again because of the terrible accidents that happened. No safety precautions. This is the story as seen through one man's eyes. It's called Driving the Last Spike.
dust it set No one knew how many Broken men, they'd said it was safe, they'd lied. You could hear the vines, you could smell the fear, but good fortune that day was mine. But it occurred to me that the heart of a good man, it seemed as hard to find.
Now, about these old songs. I know it must be very difficult for you, standing there, looking at us, these well-preserved torsos up here, to actually comprehend just how king long we've been around here. But uh, we've been around for quite a while, and uh, some of you may have been around with us. But what we're going to do now is go back to the dark, distant, slightly damp 70s. When, uh, when we all used to wear those sort of bell-bottom trousers, you know. Fashion statements, and uh, I've still got mine. And uh, some of us had hair, and it was a beautiful thing. But we've uh, strung together some pieces of our history, and uh, we've called it some pieces of our history strung together. Mr. Rutherford.
there's always magic in the air.
o'clock and it's time for lunch. Only do only do When the sun beats down and the light on the bench, I can always even talk. There's always been an echo. Take a wig off, you got a tidy you now. And then Mr. Lewis.
many things you'll never see again. All the days of life that seem so unimportant, they seem to matter now and to count much later. Of our lives, so remember There are some very strange things on American television. But probably one of the most extraordinary things on American television occurs every Sunday in the shape of the TV evangelists. Now some of you may not be familiar with these guys, but every Sunday, no matter where you turn that television dial to, everywhere you go, there's wall-to-wall -wall TV evangelists. Now, what they try and do, some of them, of course, are genuine. Some of them are genuine, of course, they believe what they say. And, of course, some of them actually do what they say they're going to do with the money. You see, but these guys, they try and persuade you that the more money you give them, the more chance there is of your prayers being answered. And you get some very strange, very strange people. You get, uh... And he came to me on a divine visitation. That the Lord said to me, Get me 18 million dollars by the weekend. Yes, get me 18 million dollars in the name of Jesus. Now, the Lord speaks to me. Yes, the Lord speaks to me. He whispers in my ear. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, he does. Disbelievers, disbelievers. He whispers in my ear. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing. And he said to me, go on to the television. Go on to the television and get the people to touch the screens. Touch the screens and heal! Heal! Out, demons, out, heal! You do any of that bullshit you gotta do, but get me that 18 million dollars by the weekend. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Now, I, I have to be truthful here that some people do think I'm crazy. But I, but I truly believe, people, I truly believe that Jesus, yes, Jesus, he knows me. Well, I can't 
No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, I know it's now come to the time of the evening that I know you've all been waiting for. 
Yes, it's audience participation time! Now, I don't know about you, but I feel it's a very special evening this evening. Do you feel it? Yeah. Tell me, do you feel it? Yeah. So we're going to try and do something tonight that we've never done before. Okay, okay, we've done it once or twice before. Okay, okay we do it every night, okay. We do it every night, but tonight is particularly special, and so we're going to make a particularly big effort to make it even more special tonight. Now, what it involves is us, yourselves and us, trying to get in touch with someone from the other world. Pretty special, eh? Now, it does involve everybody this, and if everybody, everybody's got to do it. If, if somebody doesn't do it, it's not going to work. Together, you and us, we have to try and get a contact to come down here from the other world. Again, everybody got to put their hands in the air now. Everybody has to put their arms in the air. Now, you may look around you and find that there are some people now, standing next to you, sitting next to you, that haven't got their hands in the air, and they're the kind of people that sort of say, hey, I'm too fucking cool for this, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm too fucking cool for this. So if you find yourself sitting next to someone that is actually a bit too cool for this, just give them a quick elbow in the ribs or the groin and I'm sure they'll put their hands in. So let's have some lights on these people, make sure everybody's doing this. Okay. This is a very good turnout and I, I'm very proud to say that there are absolutely no cool people in the audience tonight. This is a real true Genesis audience, no cool people and we love you for it. Okay. All the cool people are now looking very embarrassed. So let's have everybody's hand in the air and after me. Now remember, look for a sign, look for a sign. Okay, look for a sign, they're gonna come down. Ooh. Ooh. This is good, this is good. Keep going, you've done this before, I can tell. Ooh. Look for a sign, look for a sign. I think this is gonna be a good one tonight. I can feel it, I can feel it. Yes, something is happening already. Ooh. Yes, yes, I, I think I've got something here. I think I've got something. Ooh. Keep going, this is absolutely wonderful. This is fantastic. Ooh. Yes, yes, look for a sign, look for a sign. It's there somewhere. It's there somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 I can feel it. We have reached a contact with the other world. I can feel them here, do you feel them? Well, now we've reached the contact with the other world. We're going to do a song for them for you about an intrusion into the other world. It's called Home by the Sea. Oh, 
I love singing. Now the uh, domino principle <laughs> is, well, thank you very much. Now the domino principle, <laughs> thank you. The domino principle, <laughs> of course, is something that I'm sure many of you are aware of, but I would like to explain it for those that don't know what it is. The domino principle, of course, is something that affects one group of people and ultimately in time, inevitably, affects another group of people. I would like to give you a practical demonstration of it now, if I may. Well, just supposing something was to happen to say why. That group of people over there. Now, that might in turn, apart from pissing these people off, affect those people over there. So there you have the uh, domino principle in stunning action, and those of you listening on the radio, I'm sure, will have appreciated that. Something happening to those people over there, which ultimately affects those people over there. Now, sometimes it has been known to affect these people down here. But usually it is those people over there affecting those people over there and sometimes affecting these people down here. Now, on the uh, very, very odd occasion, it has been known to affect the people at the very, very back. But nobody likes those people as they're very, very tiny and they don't make much noise. Usually it's those people over there affecting those people over there affecting these people down here and sometimes the tiny people at the very back. Now, on the very, very, very special occasions, it can affect us up here. But usually it's those people over there, affecting those people over there, these people down here, and then the people at the very back. Now, sometimes it can affect those people over there first, and then these people down here, and then those people over there again, and then those people over there, and then those people down here again, and then sometimes the people at the very back, and then those people over there, and then these people down here. You see, you never quite know when the domino principle is going to strike you next. And thank you very much for your participation. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is called domino. Across to touch 
Thank you very much. Before we, uh, before we play another, our last couple of things for you. As I said before, this is, this is the last night of our tour. And uh, we have done, it doesn't sound like hard work, but 60 shows in 90 days is a lot of hard work for anybody. But there are a lot of always unsung heroes when any tour starts and finishes. And in this particular tour, there are literally hundreds of unsung heroes. They're the crew that have put this thing up which is no mean feat every night. Show your appreciation to them, please, because they work so hard on putting this show on. For all our crew, the Jumbotron people, the Sound and Lights people. And the last couple of songs, last couple of songs we'd like to dedicate to the memory of a, a man called Dixie, who started off this tour with us, but unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So this is for you, Dixie, wherever you are, mate. Thanks a lot.
Madame Helen, Madame Delicieux, Signor Signorita. Wherever you are, the church. We've come to the end of our evening. Together. Thank you. 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 Very, very much for coming tonight and making this a very special evening for us last night. Playing at home with you guys. It's nothing like playing at home in your own country and we love being here. Thank you very much. Now, before we go, I'd like to give you the opportunity of showing your appreciation, giving your love to some of the truly fabulous musicians we have playing up on stage here tonight just for you. Show your appreciation. Been with us since 1978 on the guitar, the bass guitar from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, United States of America, in a nice black singlet and black travel, Mr. Darryl Stoner. <laughs> and up there on the drums, also been with us since 1977. We will get the hang of it eventually. In a nice blue singlet. And black trousers from Baltimore, Maryland, United States of America. Give your love, Mr. Chester Thompson. <laughs> Only the hairline has been changed to protect the innocent. And over there on my right, your left, of course, in a very casual blue, is it tonight? I think it's a blue t-shirt with nice blue jeans and black shoes and a black guitar to match. The one and only Mr. Michael Rutherford from Surrey, England! <laughs> and on my left, your right, probably the sharpest dressed man this evening on stage in a nice blue suit from Surrey, England, the one and only Mr. Tony Banks on the keyboard! And me!